give you an update on Jasmine Coin. As you can see, we are going to be going through this from a technical analysis perspective. Then we're going to be looking at key buying areas for this asset. And then also very strong levels of support and resistance that you need to be aware of in, in terms of Fibonacci and good stuff like that. You need to be aware of for um for the next sort of couple of months or so coming into this alt season okay once we're done with all of that good stuff we're going to be going deep down and dirty into a price prediction for jasmine for the next sort of um next sort of six to 12 months or so if you were to just hold this asset um this this is sort of a price prediction of how high this could be going and how much money you could be making if you were just to hold this so starting off with jasmine on a market structure perspective guys we need to go through this because it basically determines whether we're in an uptrend or whether we're in a dirty downtrend okay so um what we need to look at first is um is the confirmed higher lows and as you can see here we do have confirmed higher lows coming through and uh, the most recent confirmed high low from this massive move to the upside is you can see the significant pullback from this high that got broken significant pullback and then we break this high again and that confirms this higher low so the, the the most recent high low that we do have that is confirmed is actually this is obviously on the macro guys is down at one cent two one seven six now interesting because we do have a massive pullback at this area at one four but unfortunately we haven't broke this high just yet so this is actually an unconfirmed higher low so it's actually not great because this means that um your asset uh jasmine could actually um fluctuate between 49 percent to the downside even if you dump 49 percent to the downside is what i'm saying if you crash down here guys and you hold this area you're still bullish it's still it's still on a bullish uptrend the market structure is still bullish so it's very very important to um to know that just because uh a lot of people could panic sell here as you are crashing if you do crash very unlikely that you do but um say if you 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 have a rejection of around 20 percent like we did see here two cents down to one eight there and um a lot of people would have would have started selling right because they'd be like oh no we're going down we're going to zero <laughs> maybe not quite like that but it's um, definitely a point to be looking out for there because you can actually come down near enough 49, 50% there um, to the downside and still be in a bullish market structure. So just wanted to echo that point across uh, a few times to you guys. Now talking um, just uh, breakout scenarios and uh, chart patterns, you can see this is a very strong area of resistance that we have uh, seen most recently. Just quickly, guys, I want to talk to you about a free cryptocurrency webinar that I'm hosting every single day. In this webinar, it basically shows you a simple five-step strategy on how you can build a five-figure a month income in as little as 42 days. Everyone that attends this webinar will get, will get access to a new strategy worth $250 and also $300 worth of mindset training as well. If that interests you, link is in the description. Also, link is in the top side of the screen just up there as well. If you want to get involved with that, just click there. But for now, back to the video. Now, what's happening? We're breaking to the upside. This is great news, guys, for Jasmine. Uh, for, your, for all you Jasmine holders, you must be getting very goddamn excited because we have a symmetrical triangle chart pattern at the top of an uptrend, which makes it a bullish pennant chart pattern, guys. A bullish pennant chart pattern actually means... Um, means uh, continuation to said upside to the upside here so it's definitely a point to really be referencing here we have seen uh this is the measure move the conservative measure move may i add this is the safest point and we have actually hit that which is great to see now the next measure move that you could be using as a reference point guys is going to be bringing the price of jasmine in this breakout scenario up to uh two cents eight five you're currently up around ten percent today so i wouldn't rule that out and also the high here is um is currently at 20 uh, two, two cents seven there so um it would be a break of that high please be aware though guys the last time that we did actually come up and test this sort of area the resistance was uh ridiculously strong and you you saw you saw rejection um coming down and throwing you basically another 50 percent to the downside so just be aware guys when you come up to this area again even if you're in this nice strong breakout scenario i would expect a potential move down usually around half of the momentum from previous previous resistance areas and that does line up 25 percent now that could mean you come up to this area test this high you dump right back down because it is a very volatile asset here guys please be aware of that but you're going to be setting new high lows which is bullish and also you're probably going to be coming down for a retest of this trend line okay you can do a trap zone for this trend line, something along the lines of this as well, guys. You can see Wix, 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 all, all also testing that as well. So yeah, definitely a point to really be looking out for there for this asset overall. Um, looking pretty strong just because you are in the breakout scenario. So I probably would expect short-term 
upside um, worth around 10 to 15 percent there for this asset and then downside after that let's talk potential buying areas for this asset and then we're going to get into a nice price prediction for jasmai to see how high this could go in the next six to 12 months here so looking at volume weighted atr bands here guys you can see that we're actually currently testing the 60 minute and the 12 hour this is very very important because we need to basically get those strong candle body closes above these uh these uh, volume weight atr bands and then we're essentially gonna ride them to the upside like you can see here we're riding that to the upside really really strong level of support and again here really really nice okay so ideally that is what we want here we want a nice strong candle body close above the 60 minute and the 12 hour if we can get that it will just be a testing scenario and we will basically run up to um make a a significant progression inside of this measure move here now talking buy areas guys this is where it gets interesting because we're looking at buy areas of what we can be looking out for here for the next um the next sort of bull market coming through right so um firstly the thing that i want to say here is going to be the uh the 60 minute and the 12 hour if we can if we can hold that and and it's strong then amazing stuff then the buy area would be at that ever would be at that level so let's um let's mark that in quickly would be something along the lines of that if we don't hold that and we do get resistance guys which is absolutely fine coming into the halving we know bitcoin's going to be a uh, very choppy and very volatile here um and and jasmine could take a hit because of that if that is going to happen i'm going to be basically measuring all these micro uh, low points here micro uh, unconfirmed higher low points and um using them as potential buying areas another thing that you could be doing here guys is essentially banging from the swing low to the swing high a fibonacci level here and then we could be using the fibonacci retracement what do you know lines up pretty goddamn perfectly with that trend line for a potential buying area as well so the most con con congruent buying area that i would be looking for here guys um to hold if you are looking for a hodl strategy using this asset is going to be the 0 0.236 uh, Fibonacci retracement, and that is currently sat at around two cents one six. So let's do a price prediction from that area all the way up to um, essentially previous all-time highs for Jasmine. Now Jasmine is currently trading at one dollar. That's uh, sorry, one dollar, one point one billion dollars here, and uh, that's obviously very, very, very bullish here. Um, one point one billion dollars is very, very bullish in comparison to uh where it currently was previously right so if we look at market caps um, from previous all-time highs uh, for this asset let's see if we can get that it is currently 1.3 billion okay back in um that march no it's it's november okay back in november we haven't actually got any other price action for that there okay so um in terms of a price prediction we can be using um, the previous price for Jasmai, which is $4.29. I probably don't think that we're going to be going that high, guys, considering the, the all-time high market cap was uh, $1.3 billion at um, not the height of the, the last the last bull market because it was November 2021, and uh, the height was, I think, May 2021. So um, it, is, it is not the best data there, but if we're using um, the 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 price to our to our favor here we're probably going to be using a spike like this instead this is a more more valid data okay so um 24 cents uh, no sorry two cents up to two dollars and 15 cents i think it's gonna be a bit too too crazy to be doing something like that guys so um yeah in terms of a price prediction we're just going to be using i mean we, we can do it just for fun okay <laughs> if you want to do it just for fun we can do it all right so let's do it for fun um i don't think we're going to be getting this high um, because now there's there's likely to be more circulating supply here and that's why uh, the the previous all-time high market cap would um would only be 1.3 billion which is kind of currently basically where we're at right so um let's do two dollars and 15 just for fun it's not realistic as a as a price prediction for this um it's very unlikely that it gets here guys and the reasoning for that is i will go into some detail because if we're currently at two cents yeah for current i mean it's just we, we can't even get there right two dollars if we're currently at two cents guys um at a market cap of 1.1 billion uh to get to was it 2.5 did we say 2.15 sorry yeah 2.15 to get to 2.15 guys we need to actually uh take into consideration that the market cap itself would actually have to um grow by 918 percent right so that just put it crazy 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 stuff so yeah we can't we can't be using that as a price prediction if we're using say a 10x as a price prediction you can um basically expect a 10 billion dollar market cap 
for this asset here, guys. $10 billion market cap at a 10x, which again, it is uh, in comparison to the previous market cap, definitely something to do with uh, the, the more circulating supply that has been uh, um, basically put onto the market here. So if we are going to be doing a $10 billion market cap uh, sort of um, target here for, for Jasmine, obviously still speculatively speaking, guys, it is we don't know how high this could go. From the buying area, a 10 bill market cap, we'll put this at around 20 cents a coin, right? 20 cents a coin, which will be... Will be, uh, here we go. Basically a 10x on your investment, right? Yeah, it will be a 10x on your investment and um, just about 9x. Yeah, 9.2x on your investment there. Um, so yeah, overall looking pretty good. But uh, the, the real question is, guys, is how high could this go um, in the next 6 to 12 months? That's that's the real thing right now. We don't currently know. Um, but being at a price point of $1.1 billion market cap already, I probably would expect, just referencing other coins right now, and the bullishness of this chart, I probably would expect at least a 5x in the tank there, okay? So at least a 400% move um, to the upside, and that would put the price of this asset around around 10 cents. We'll do that for simplicity's sake. Around, around 10, 11 cents there, guys. So yeah, definitely uh, I would see that in the tank. There is going to be um, a road to the upside that we need to take into consideration as well for Jasmine, and that is going to be um, very, very key Fibonacci extension levels here. You've got a uh, three cents there. You've got three cents six there. You've also got three nine. Okay, so there's going to be levels um, of resistance that need to be need to be uh, looked at here because uh, we could see something along the lines of that, right? Um, just completely estimating that chart there. But um, yeah, just be aware for those levels here. But yeah, that's going to be it from me for Jasmine. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, whether you like the video. If you like the video, smash a like on it. And uh, what do you think of Jasmine as well? I want to know. And but yeah, if you never want to miss one of my uploads. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, turn the notification bell on. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from me. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.